No one wants to faff about looking for the data they want within a pivot table. Luckily, Excel provides some great features to sort and filter data in pivot tables, and that's what this video is all about. And if you want a copy of the spreadsheet I'm working on, plus the finished version at the end of the video, just click on the link in the description and it'll be sent straight to you. Let's get straight into it. Imagine you're doing some analysis for the head of air freight. One thing you might want to do is on this pivot table, it's probably not going to be very interested in delivery truck figures. So you want to be able to filter them out. Now, you could use the shipping mode as a filter at the top, like that, but then that destroys the whole look of the pivot table. You don't really want to do that. So you need to undo that. Go back, that was Control Z to undo. Back to how it looks. What you ideally want is this exact same report, but no mention of delivery truck. Okay, so you can easily do that by filtering the data. So one of the first things we need really, the easiest way to do this is to get back our row labels field header. So if we go back on analyze and we'll put the field header back on, then we have a click down, drop down where we can just untick things that we don't want. Now, this drop down button, when you click on that, you might be misled into thinking that you're only going to be able to filter the top subtotal items. But actually what's happening is it depends on where you are in your pivot table when you click that button. So if I click on Express Air, for example, and then click that exact same button, I now get the options for that field. We click on somewhere in the pivot table on the, what we actually want to filter. Click on the drop down box. We can take out delivery truck, click OK. And there we go. We've now got air freight only broken into the two types of air. Now, the way we know this pivot table is filtered is because we have a slightly different symbol on the row labels uh, field there. And that tells us the data is filtered because we wouldn't want to get confused. We can, though, take the field header back off again. And then we don't really know that we're not. We've, we've tidied it back up, but we don't know that we're looking at filtered data necessarily. Other than the fact that you see there's this filter symbol here has appeared next to ship mode in the pivot table field. What if we wanted to sort the data differently? So at the moment, what's happened is we've got consumer, we've effectively got it sorted by uh, in alphabetical order, both counts. So it's alphabetical order there and then alphabetical order there. But it might be that regular air, for example, is far more important and you want that at the top of your data all the time. In this instance, there's only two so you could manually, um, you could automatically sort it in reverse order. And the way you can do that, for example, is right click on there and then you can do sort Z to A. And, and you can see that what's happened is it's actually resorted all of them. OK, you can also manually sort it by when you click on the item that you want, hover over it until you get the crosshair and then you can move that to wherever you want. So you can move it back up to the top and similarly we can do that here. But notice how it still sorts for all the items. So you can't have regular air and express air appearing in different orders under different customer uh, groupings. Similarly, even when it's like this, if you click on corporate, for example, say you want corporate and small business together, you can go down here and that will move the whole thing around by dragging and dropping that. Or you could even say, well, actually, I'm only interested in corporate and small business. I'm not interested in home office and uh, consumer. So same thing. We need to put back our, we can put back our field button, our field header, click on there, and we can get rid of home office and consumer like that. So we've now got a very targeted pivot table that is sorted in the fashion we want and only showing what the particular manager is interested. So hopefully she'll be happy to receive a report like that. 
So if I remove the filters from here for the moment then, and we'll go back to all of it. Now we can just clear all the filters. We do this, clear filter from ship mode. So we'll clear all the filters. We now know that we've got everything back. And I'm actually going to put province now instead of ship mode in because you'll see there's a lot more provinces. So we now have sales and profit by province. Now we can create a say a top five report or something very easily with this by filtering. So if we right click on that and we go to filter, you'll see that one of the options is top 10. As soon as we hit top 10, we actually get asked how many we want. So we don't have to use 10 and we don't even have to have top. We could have the bottom the bottom two, for example, we can just type in there and we could say the least profitable two province. Click OK and now we have them. You'll see that when we click back on row levels, we have this value filters button again. So I could then clear that quickly. But also have numerous other options. You can see that we're on top 10 at the moment, but we could use many other options. I'm just going to clear that um, and we'll go back in, right click again, filter, top 10, and uh, we'll also the top five sales. And we could save, we can have the top five by percentage or sum, but so we go, top five sales. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget you can download the spreadsheet by clicking on the link in the description below. And then you can see, you can play around with the pivot table or you can just use it to work back through this video and start from scratch.